Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Sin Stuff. Today, Roland has released updates for the Juno 106, the Jupiter 8, and Jupiter 4 for both its soft synths and plug outs. Uh, we're going to navigate through the undocumented maze like quagmire that is Roland Cloud and demonstrate how to get those plug outs into the System 8 and then experiment to see what they can do. Before we do anything, I'm going to go into menu and utility and backup and we are going to back up uh, everything in my system 8 to my SD card that's installed so I'm going to overwrite that so that I, I don't lose any of my uh, setups. So here's the Rolling Cloud application. I've downloaded it, installed it. We want to select hardware instruments and we want to go to synthesizers and we're going to select system eight. So these are VSTs. So you basically can subscribe to Rolling Cloud or buy these and they will download as a VST to your computer, which you can then open in your DAW and use as a soft synth. So it says hardware instruments, and then of course they have software instruments, but hardware, it says hardware instruments, but it's really misleading because you would think, oh, for a hardware instrument, this is, I'm trying to, to get this on my hardware instrument, so that's what I would select. No, that's not what this is. What this is, is this is a list of the soft synths that Roland offers that emulate hardware instruments. So if we go to software instruments, these are Xenology that are specifically software. They don't exist in the hardware world. So we want hardware synthesizers. So we have the Juno 106 that's been updated to version two, the Jupiter 8, as well as the Jupiter 4 have all been updated to version two. Uh, I don't know if others will be, maybe the Juno 60 at some point may be also updated in the future, but uh, for now it's those three. Now we could purchase these. And if you purchase it, then you download it and then we can install it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to membership. Now, I don't subscribe to Rolling Cloud because I, I wouldn't really derive any benefit for what they're selling. But we can do a free trial. So if we set up for a free trial, that means we can transfer the plug outs to the synth and then cancel free trial and that'll work fine. So let's do that. I will... Uh, put in my information over on this other screen and click free trial. Okay, so now I have started free trial. I now am a rolling cloud member with an ultimate cloud membership. And as you notice on these items here, I now have a download. Uh, so I could download any of these. If I wanted to replace the JX3P, in my System 8 with a Jupiter 4, I could do that, and maybe I should do that. That said, I kind of like the sound of my JX3P, and I don't really want to replace it, so uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just keep the Juno 106 and the Jupiter 8, and we'll get those updates. So let's download Juno 106, and it's going to ask me permissions, and we'll also download Jupiter 8. Okay, so now it says it has installed it. Both of those have been installed. So now we need to open my DAW, which is Cubase. I've got Cubase open, so what we need to do is instantiate the instruments. So if I go over to my VST instruments, you can see that they're added in here, Juno 106. So let's bring an instance of the Juno 106 over here. Hopefully, there it is. And if we supposedly open this up, so there is the new Juno 106 instrument and we can zoom it because apparently it has that feature now. And we also have uh, these meters that apparently that's new as well. So we can change analog meter and apparently the, the scope in there. Okay, very nice. All right, so how do we get this to the plug out? Let's, uh, what happens when we press plug out? Either it's not connected or it's not connected correctly. Huh. Okay, so how do we connect it correctly? Okay, so the instructions say to 
Load the, the VST enable DAW MIDI control by clicking on the settings button, but I don't see a settings button. Is this uh, what this is? Setup? MIDI control. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we want this set up to system A control. There we go. Okay, I think this is what we need to do. The, the documentation on this is just awful, just horrendous. Okay, so now do I click on this and see what happens? No, nope, it says it's still not connected. Open this back up and then go over to setup and then we'll change this to none. And now we'll change it back to system A control. Still disabled. Oh, so frustrating. All right, so now I've disabled the system A control in the DAW, so the DAW can't see it. So now let's open up setup and, ah, there we go. So now it's seeing it. So the problem was that the DAW was holding the connection to the system A control which meant that the VST here couldn't actually access it. So if now if we type, click on plug out, there we go. Okay, so we see that's what's currently installed into my system eight. I have a Jupiter eight slot one, Juno 106 slot two, JX3P. So if I click on this, what happens? Ready to plug out, okay. Yes. says updating and the synthesizer says completed and do I want to send the patches no because I want to keep the patches that I already have in there I don't want those overwritten okay so now if I look at plug out I should see version 2 there it is uh, no it's not Juno 106 still shows version 107 although it was showing 106 previously all right, so I guess the plug out version is 107, even though Rolling Cloud shows version two. So confusing. This is just a oh, dog's breakfast, this, this uh, system, this Rolling Cloud. All right, let's try the Jupiter 8. So we'll drag that VST over here. And let's open that one. And there's our Jupiter 8. Okay, so if we go to setup for this one, and we will do the same thing, system eight control, and system eight control. Close that. By the way, none of this is documented anywhere. You just gotta figure it out or let somebody like me figure it out and post a video about it. So now we're gonna click on plug out and you can see plug out one is currently 1.06 version of the Jupiter 8. So let's transfer that and we will send it across. And if we look at the Jupiter 8, it's, it says receiving plug-in, writing plug-in. So now if we look at the plug outs, all right, so they're now both at version 1.07, so that I've successfully sent plug, those two plug outs to my system eight, and they will remain there unless I actually change them or uh, factory reset the system eight. I could replace the JX3P, I really don't want to. Uh, these are the ones that I really wanna have in there. So if I wanted to, I could go back into Rolling Cloud and download any of those other VSTs, but I, I'm not gonna bother doing that and I'm not actually gonna keep Rolling Cloud and I'm gonna get rid of all of this. All right, so what does all of this give us? Well, it gives us one knob. If we twist it, we can see it says circuit mod and what it does is alter individual voices like the filter, amp, uh, which are in the original Juno 106, for instance, we have a different voice chip for each individual voice you play. So there's six voice chips. All those voice chips are calibrated separately because and they're analog, so they could go out of tune, they could change over time. And as a result, the individual voices being played sound differently. So I've got it turned off. I'm just gonna play a simple uh, four note uh, chord here. All 
right, so now I'm going to turn that knob up and I'm going to play that same chord again. You hear some filtering difference. And you're hearing that some notes are a little bit louder than others. Now if I play the same chord again, you notice that some notes are actually a little bit more prominent than others. And the envelope is different. Some of them you hear that one note is actually longer than the others because it's acting a little bit differently. And if I play it again, I should get a different result. Yeah, definitely one of those notes is louder than the others. And for comparison, if I go back to where it was before, and you notice the envelope, the uh, decay on the envelope is uh, much less there. Notice the difference? So it makes it a little bit wonky and, and unstable like an old analog synthesizer. And that's basically what we get for version, what I thought was 2.0, but is uh, for the plug out 1.07 for the Roland. And, and of course the same thing applies to uh, the Jupiter 8 plug out. <laughs> here fairly simple and flat you can hear a lot of difference it, it's gone out of tune it's it's there's differences in the envelope and differences in the filter so that's that's basically what it does and that's it for the new versions of the Juno 106 Jupiter 8 uh, plug outs for the system eight and of course the VSD versions as well. I hope that was of some help to you. I know it's so frustrating when you can't figure out how to do something on a product that a company's put out and there's just no support, no documentation and Roland Cloud and the plug out process is a nightmare as you see. It's not simple, it's not intuitive, there's no instructions. Uh, it's almost as bad as the firmware upgrade process for the Phantom where you literally have to plug USB sticks into different ports at different times and what a mess. Roland really needs to get their act together in user friendliness and uh, ease of use. Uh, look at the difference between the, like the Novation Summit where you just start it up, it just does it, it just works. You don't have to mess around with downloading and, and connecting different MIDI ports and all that kind of nonsense. Why? Manufacturers like Novation and Modal is another one with their Modal app. It's just so simple. You just connect it, it works. Roland has this, this nonsense where you have to connect, select odd MIDI ports, and you have to download a VST, which is somehow connected to a plug out, and then try to set up the, plug, the VST to talk to the plug out. And why, Roland? Why? I hope that's alleviated their frustration a little bit. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, corrections, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have five seconds, hey, click like, leave a comment, say, hey, I like what you did, I don't like what you did, thanks for doing it, whatever. Of course, subscribe to the channel and you get notified every time I post a new one of these videos. Thanks for watching.